Hello and welcome to day four of the 2018 World Para Athletics European Championships here at the Friedrich Ludwig Jan Sport Park. Glorious day again. Maximum temperature of 33 degrees Celsius expected. And what a schedule we have looked for on the opening morning. The men's discus throw F63 final. Alan Davis, a three-time world champion in that event, will go at six minutes past ten local time. Men's high jump, T47 Francis Alexandre de Pogu Uane, the reigning champion. He gets underway in his defense just before 11 o'clock. And we also have Jason Smith, undefeated. We're going in the men's 200 meters. Already winning gold in that today in the 100. Temperature currently 22 degrees, a maximum of 33 expected. Very light breeze today. As you can see there on the opening day, it was rather strong indeed. There you go. Limp flags. 1,000 school children expected into the stadium today. Two sessions taking place. There are eight medal events in the morning session, a further 27 in the evening. And we're ready to get underway with our first action. It's the F57. Men's javelin men's throw F57 will be the opening of the field events. We have four field events before we see the first of the running races on the track. A new event introduced to the para-athletics program this year. Winners yesterday, Marika Vahinga taking the ladies title in the running race one category and Nikolai Christensen from Denmark with the men's victory. 25 years ago it was invented that sport that made its debut here in para sport the major championships yesterday. So the long jump Getting ready as well. I'm Tolson Tollett. Will Downing is alongside me. Good morning, Will. Yes, good morning. It's going to get quite heated later on in the afternoon. A very, very busy schedule. 35 gold medals to be decided today. Eight this morning. 27 this evening. Denmark and Turkey well represented here crowd-wise. Again, crowds have hit a peak of around maybe two and a half, three thousand per session, which is the best we've seen at a European Power Athletics Championship. Grisetto quite impressive as well, since these events were revived in Stadt Canal in 2012. So eight gold medals decided this morning, all in the field. Four of those events kicking off straight away. Men's javelin, F57. Men's long jump, T20 in the intellectual category. Men's discus, F63, which is one of the new prosthetic events in the 60s. So the women's shot put, F41, for athletes of short stature. The taller ones, if you like. Men's javelin, then later on, F55. Men's high jump, T47, always interesting. The shot put in the F37's coordination impairment and the uh, women's discus F12 medium visual impairment. That is Max Para Panda, as we have now learned. The mascot for these World Para Athletics European Championships. Men's long jump T20 will be the uh, first major field event we're concentrating on this morning. Six going in this. The reigning European champion is Zoran Tojic from Croatia, who's won the last two European titles. Remember, the T20s have been suspended for the dura entire duration of the noughties. It had uh, gone away from the World Para Athletics family but they did have their own circuit it was to do with uh, basketball in Sydney 2000 but uh, it's back Dmitry Prunikov as well in Ukraine the former world champion in this all the local school children 
are streaming in again at the main stand here at the Friedrich Ludwig Jan Sport Park. We're up in the northeast of the city. So the six in this final, representing Poland first of all, silver in this long jump two years ago in Grisetta, Mariusz Petruczka. Second, the former Europe, world triple jump champion. It's silver in the triple jump of the world's last year, but in terms of the long jump, very successful. 197 medals in the career of Lenin Kunia of Portugal. He's aiming for 200, but obviously not today. Third to go for the Netherlands, fourth in the last two global championships in the long jump. Ranky Oberoi from Rotterdam. Jumping at four, representing First major championship for Estonia based in Tallinn. Gilbert Ora, the former world champion from 2013 in Lyon and the reigning triple jump world champion Dmitro Prudnikov for Ukraine. And jumping at six, the European record The man who's won the last two the European titles. Croatia. The European and championship record holder for Croatia, Zoran Talic. And jumping at seven, Parapanda Max. <laughs> I think somebody's got an unfair advantage in this competition. Somebody has delusions of, delusions of grandeur, I think so you call that one. Well, Berliner can Berlin run in the outside lane in the 10,000 metres, and Curley can do the pole vault. Max Parapanda can do what he likes. And by the way, he's a bear. He can do what he likes. This event is displayed on the grass adjacent to the runway, the other side of the track. They'll get a red flag. It feels like the biggest ever Estonian uh, para-athletics team we've ever had. They, for the first time, have uh, competitors in the para-powerlifting circuit this year. It's all welcome. Uh, attention definitely growing. Latvia, Lithuania, para-sport is quite large and growing in Estonia. Or uh, based in Tallinn. Men's Discus F63, next to events to start, and the biggest name at the bottom. Four times European champion, six world golds, two Paralympic titles. Ala Davis is the man to beat. But we start with the long jump, Marius Petrucha. And in the field, in the cage, at the start of the Looking to improve on that silver medal in Italy two years ago. So the first jump of the morning session will be from Poland. And that's out over the six metre mark. It's given the white flag, no issues there. Lifetime best of 6.78 for Petrucci in this intellectual impairment category. It's up around the six and a half meter mark. So throwing first in this men's discus final, representing Czech Republic. Six competitors all together. 6.19 for Petrucha with his opener. So it'll be a very busy runway today. Lenin Kunya. His big goal in his career, his next goal in his career for this 35 year old is to hit 200 medals in his career. And he's three away from that tally. He's uh, set up his own athletics club, a foundation to get new para athletes into the sport. So Cunha, bronze in the long jump in the last Euros, but he's gone very close to the plasticine there. He's got a red flag. It was a nice jump, actually, to beyond 
six and a half meters it would have been the lead and he didn't go over the plasticine by a huge amount but obviously he went over by enough one of the favorites for this Ranky Oberloy of the Netherlands with his first attempt. He was fourth in Swansea four years ago. He was fourth in Rio two years ago. And guess what? He was fourth in London last year as well. Chasing that elusive medal. Here's the Dutchman. He's never won one in the uh, long jump. And as you can see, Cunha wants uh, a look at the footage. The invitation. I don't think he'll be satisfied. Uh, once in a blue moon, two decisions like that get reversed. Well, here it is. And that, as they say, is an open and shut case. Indeed. Well, we're ready to go. Ranky Obroy, the third athlete to jump. Only one legal jump so far. That was from Pachucha, who holds the lead with 6.19. And that's well back from the board, and that is well over seven metres. Well, Oberoi's lifetime best is 6.96. The championship record, just saying, is seven metres six. The 24 year old. Four years. That is well over the championship record. Zoran Talic, who we'll see go a little later, is 7.16. The European record is 7.32, also from Talic. 6.94, that's the lead. Well, at 6.94, it's not quite up there. Short of the seven metres, but a season best. And he goes into first place. So, Gilbert Orav next to go then for Estonia, his first attempt of the competition. Alongside the circle at the start of the home straight, it's time to welcome the finalists in the women's... He's only 18 years shot. old. They've... Uh, a decent squad. You'll notice he doesn't have an Estonian singlet. The, you go around Tallinn a lot, you actually see the athletic singlet a lot. You can buy them. He's uh, launched himself out, gets the white flag. That'll be around five and a half meters. Latvia, Lithuania with large squads as usual here. Estonian, not so much. Just to so the north as he plans himself out. Ranked athletes in Europe in this lineup displayed on the scoreboard. Let's welcome them to the stadium. The athletes in this Wettkampf teilnehmen. You can see, they're already on the board. Needed to go beyond six meters to uh, get between Oberoi and Pachuca, but 5:44 is these all the same. Goes into the bronze medal position, but this is round one. Now Prudnikov of Ukraine. The former world champion from Lyon in 2013. Two, bronze in the Paralympic three, Games, bronze Croatia. in London. The Paralympic in Games in Rio and, and the world champions Anna in London. Throwing at three, ranked two in Europe. Medal in the last Europe. four global championships. In the long jump, one gold, three bronzes, and the reigning triple jump world champion. Oh, that's gone out to seven metres. That might be red and is red. It was a bit over. Into the plasticine. Six throws alternately. A bit. But that was a tremendous effort otherwise, distance-wise at the very least. The red flag against. Way out there, that 10 metre 42 world record that was set in 2015. So lots of field event action again this morning. Zoran Talic is the European and Championship record holder. Champion in Swansea in 2014 and Grisetto in 2016. Silver in the long jump in the last three World Championships and the last two Paralympic Games. 
It's time for race Abdul running to make Robley, its return famously this has with uh, victory in Rio for Malaysia. But Talic has had firm control in Europe the past few years. Solid effort. Had towards seven meters and barely clipped the board. Gave about 15 yeah, centimeters so away, so but that will certainly have him in the top two and maybe the top one. Oberoi 694, the target for the gold medal position for now in the opening exchanges. That's the final attempt of round one. Talic out a nice distance. Certainly close to Oberoi. Very close, six centimeters away, 6.88. Talic goes into the silver medal position. So the opening race on the track in the morning is the women's 100 meters running race three category. The first of two heats, five taking place in this one. There's Julie. Salsenet of Norway, who will go from lane five. On the far side, it's Hansen of Denmark, Semedo of Portugal, Salsenet of Norway, Hago of Great Britain, and Shadi of Poland on the outside. As they're called up, making its debut at these championships, of course. We had the running race one category yesterday, both men's and women's. Two heats in the women's coming up here. So this the is way they get, and uh, on lane four is the British athlete, Kaylee Hago gets away quickly, but she's been pegged back on the inside by Hansen of Denmark. But Hago is really going some at the moment. She has put the foot down, she is off. Hago of Great Britain is going to pick up victory in the women's 100 metres running race. Three category in the opening heat. Second place from Denmark is Hansen, and coming through in third is Julie Sousanet of Norway. Well, Kaylee Hago, she's also competed in para swimming. She took part in the Queen's Baton Relay ahead of the 2014 Commonwealth Games. 1899, Kelly Hago with victory in the opening heat of the women's 100 metres running race three. Well, on the inside there, it was Hansen who got away with Hago very quickly. And in the middle from Norway, Julie Sousanet. But look at the pace there from Kelly Hago. The British athlete coming into her own the last 40 metres. And, well, if she'd have gone any quicker, she'd have been out of the stadium. Wonderful technique. In the first three go through, so it's Hago, Hansen and Sousanet who will go through automatically and then we'll have the next two fastest who will advance. At this stage it's Sandra Semedo who we're looking to hold on to fourth position. Hago wins it, 18.99. Real Lyle's roommate for the week, Alan Davis. Another athlete expected to do impressively for Great Britain this week. Here's his first attempt in the men's discus F63. It's gone out a good, good distance. Of course it did. He's the championship record holder, European record holder, world record holder. 12 major championship medals in his career. He thought about quitting para athletics a year ago. But persuaded to continue on. That's a monstrous throw. It's a championship record. 47 93, and he's in the lead. So, Oraf going again in round two of the long jump. Tom Habscheid, by the way, has moved into second place in the discus behind Davis. 
didn't go near the ball that time. It came more than the 20 centimetres away. It was 5.44 last time, and that'll be just about five metres. And the track will be ready for the second heat. Well, Orev, I believe, in Estonia means squirrel. He's going to have to get the pace going to get himself up the leaderboard. Five forty-four with his first in fifth position. He's still in fifth position. He hasn't improved at five thirteen with his second jump for Orev. So next up, heat two of the women's 100 meters so race running. Jorgensen, Juba, Riesum and Dines. And Dines has got off to a fantastic start here for Great Britain, the Glaswegian, also a paracyclist. Where in front ahead of Riesum of Denmark and Juba of Poland. It's the first three to go through and they're the three who will do it. Dines there, Zuba in second place, Reason was third, and 18.83 the winning time. This the race running three category as Jürgensen comes home in fourth position. Jürgensen, the world number two, Dines the world number one. And Dines without much difficulty. Jürgensen's been given second place and Riesum third, Zuba fourth. 18.83 the winning time and she was so fast away, so impressively. This competition for uh, severely impacted cerebral palsy athletes, and severe arthritis, could not compete any other way. Good win, Hannah Dines. The world number one, ahead of the world number two, Jorgensen. The world number seven, Riesum, was third. These are the rankings, having come across from their own circuit in the CPRSA World Games. So the two Britons have won their heats. Traditionally, a Scandinavian power base, but maybe that changes a bit now. So Dines wins 18.87 seconds with Jürgensen and Riesum also going through. So another new event, That's first major championship for Rose Van der Goo of France. 7.48 is her lifetime best. So we have another chance of Turkey. That's a solid throw beyond seven meters. We've already seen Mariana Granovic go in front with 6 meters 09 but Van der Goo, 7 meters 19 and that's a new European record who has jumped the championship record of 725 to go into the lead ahead of Prudnikov and overall it's uh, shorter than a lifetime best but it's Poland he's in fifth place one of the vagaries of transfers to the discus and Al Jabouri of Sweden Bronze in the 2012 European Championships, born in Baghdad, and now lives in Eskilstuna. So Algebra. Oh. Alan Davis, the man that all trying to chase, has already set the championship record. The second athlete is just uh, completing his warm-up throws. That's Musa Davulcha of Turkey. The lead is with Pero Sunara of Croatia at 28.44. Well, he's improved, 37.72, takes him up into fourth position. Of oh, yeah. Jurov. 
dropping down to fifth after Al Jaburi's effort. The Bulgarian. Tap number three. Foul of the first. 37 20 with his second. And this one there isn't going to be improved. And in this four woman shot put competition, the event leader. He's been very successful throughout his career, but curiously, he's never won a medal at the Paralympic Games. Perennially a bronze medalist in the discus. He's won three bronzes in three world championships and gold in the javelin prior to that in 2011. He concentrated the javelin earlier in his career, was very successful world champion in it, silver as well, and two no throws. So that's not something to add to the CV. Silver in the shot two years ago for Bada Tuzi. That's a solid one, out to around 40 metres. French champion in 2015, he's been a Paris swimmer as well, Tuzi. Born in Casablanca, but always at Paris. Well, he won't, he doesn't live there, he lives in Pontoise. He was fourth in the discus at the last Europeans. 39-93 in the opening round. 39.88 now. And so have she? She's been trailing in the wake of Alan Davis. Before the two championships, he's picked up the silver medal. Davis leads in this one as well. The thing about Hapshide is, when he started off, he, he watched London 2012 on TV, loved what he saw, wanted to get into power athletics. That's a brilliant throw, by the way, to beyond 45 metres. And in the early days, it was a Luxembourg team of one, so he went under the wing of the Belgium national team. These days, there's generally a Luxembourg the team of two. It's from Dudelange with the Athletics Club there. The football team did very well last week, knocked Legia Warsaw out of the uh, Europa League. I'm sure Habscheid's a fan. Well, that will put him up into the silver medal position by a long way. 46 22 is best so far. He's second behind Alan Davis. Speaking of which. 47-93 in the opening round. Oh, look at that. That's out towards 50. It's a white flag. Habscheid's throw previously was good, but he sat up in his chair. Davis, a shake of the head. He probably wanted over 50. He's the world record holder from Grosseto in the last European Championships two years ago. That was 54-14. But he has improved on his championship record without a shadow of a doubt here. And that's the lead increased. 49 metres, 61. A new championship record for Alan Davis. So Prudnikov with his second attempt in the men's long jump, T20. For intellectual impairment. Well, that was close. Need to have another look at that to see if he's got across. Very close indeed. It's well over around the seven meter mark. And it will be to the event leader and championship record holder Zoran Talic of Croatia. He fouled with his first in Prudnikov. He's got a lifetime best of 7.15, and he's equaled it. Well, he moves into first position. Prudnikov. Here's Talic, who was in first position. His second attempt, he's dropped back to the silver medal position. 6.88 with his first. The man who's a double European champion looking for a triple here in Berlin. That is high as well. But he might have regained his lead. 7.15 is what he's looking to beat. Talic, twice silver medalist at the Paralympic Games. Twice a silver medalist at the World Championships as well. He's back in the first position, 7.25. He's 10 centimetres further than Dimitro Prudnikov. 
Frankie Oberoi in third position. 694 with his first. He was just two centimeters shy of his lifetime best. And that looks like it's a foul. Must have been close. His second one was. He debated that with the officials after his second one. Well, he's got away with it. Must have been very, very tight. 7.13. He stays in third position. But he does set a new lifetime best. So, and we wait now on the Weite, die da jetzt gleich angezeigt werden wird. Aber vorher habe ich für euch, für alle Schüler, Wonderful day. Unter der Wonderful hier. crowd already in here early in the morning. Tony just gone 25 past 10 local time. That man has set a wonderful new lifetime best. Frankie Oberoi of the Netherlands. In third position. 7.13. We've reached halfway in this men's long jump, the T20s. And Kunya at the moment is outside the medals by 70 centimetres. Really tight between Talic, Prunikov, Oberoi, the 1 2 3, divided by 15 centimetres. Everybody gets the six attempts in this as we have less than eight in the final. Never gave us fans. Well, as you can see, it's a glorious day. 33 degrees, the maximum temperature expected. That will be the warmest day of these championships so far. Day four of seven. This the morning session, the evening session to come later. It was quite sweltering during the uh, Europeans a fortnight ago at the Olympia Stadion. The 38 was the highest temperature we had there. It's not going to be far off this week. And obviously, it just wears everyone down, even in the evenings. Even at night, it's 25 Celsius. It's Talich goes. That's another big one. That's beyond seven meters once more. 725 in the second round. Was that championship record? It's around the same mark. He went quite far on the board, but I think he's okay. He's got the white flag. Seven meters 28, another new championship record for Talic. Well, the long jumpers are quite lucky in the morning session, the way they're running as well. Left to right, as we see it on our screens, they're running into the shade. On the opening day, they were running the opposite way. There goes Orov of Estonia. He's not going to trouble the scorers too much with that one. He's currently in sixth position. Eighteen years of age. If you're wondering what's been uh, playing in the background, by the way, I never knew there was a German language version of Mary Poppins. Or I've had some wonderful experience at his major championship level. He does improve 554, but he stays bottom of the pile. Petrucha of Poland with his fourth attempt, uh, best so far of 6.19. That was his first, a foul in his second, and just over the six meter mark for his third. Lifetime best of 678. That wouldn't even put him into the medal positions. So he's going to have to go some if he wants to get up into third, second, or first. And that is a foul. So no improvement for Marish Petrucha of Poland. So Tom Habscheid, as we return to the disc, is currently lying in second position.
in this F63. Where... Into round four now. Bada Tuzi of France with a lifetime best 41.88 a few moments ago is in the bronze medal position. Hubside 46.22, his best so far. Drops around 40 meters and he steps out, it's a red flag. Instantly knew that he hadn't the traction of the distance. So stepped out. Two no throws in a row. 46-22 has him in the silver. Into position. the discus circle comes the event leader. So Alan Davis then, our leader. For the Great Britain athlete. He'll fancy this to be a long one. Just shy of 50 metres. Just inside the quadrant. It's around 48. Every and throw so far ready, for the park from the no throw the round two the would have him in the Oberoi gold the medal position. For his fourth round jump, he's currently in third place. Stellar career this entire decade, Alan Davis. Forty-eight oh one. He's still numero uno. Oberoi in the long jump. Down around seven meters. It's a white flag. That lifetime best from the previous round three, seven meters thirteen. That looks just marginally shy of it. He is two centimeters. Of Brunnikov in the silver medal position and 15 of Zora Intelligence Championship record that has him, the Croat, in gold. Just looks like he lost his run there, just towards the end. It was a long step, short step, and jump, so he's lost a bit of meterage there. Six meters, 85, there's the proof of it. Still good hang time. It's Brunnikov now. His fourth attempt, equaling his lifetime best with his only fair jump at the competition so far. It's seven metres 15. So Montenegro a guaranteed the silver medal with that final throw. He's medalled in the long jump for the last five major championships. That's going to be another red flag that is well over. So Talic still and leads with two rounds to go. Prunikov really pushing it. Where he landed was certainly looked to be around 7.15 again and maybe just beyond. Equaling his lifetime best. So only one good attempt from the four so far. Has him in silver. Zoran Talic, our leader. Championship records in rounds two and three. 7.25 and 7.28. That is only four centimetres off his European record. The winning silver at the World Championships in London last year. As Talic, another long one. Oh, well, listen, he almost took off in Cologne. That's a red flag. Jump went down to seven and a half, but forget it. He almost took off in the sand, but he still leads. Gold medal position, two rounds to go. Well, back to the track, the women's 100 meters, T11. There's only two taking place in that player Faust of Spain and Joanna Mazur of Poland. Both of these athletes have been Winners of silver medals at these championships. Marichal player Fals, silver in the long jump, T11, and Joanna Mazur, silver in the 200 meters. On the track, we're ready for the first heat of the women's T11 100 meters. So the first will go through automatically. There are two in this heat. There are three in the following heat. There is no Libby Clegg, who is the world and European record holder. There is no Osnur Alamur of Turkey. 
who is the championship record holder. We've seen plenty of world records, plenty of championship records. Don't rise off the bat, there might be another one here in this team. Player Faust with her guide, Robert Diaz Ibanez. And Joanna Majur there on the right with Mikhail Stavitsky. Won gold last year in London, over 1,500 metres. But she knows how to run the shorter events as well. 200 self medalist now going in the 100. All athletes in the T11 visual impairment category. It's the most visually impaired, must run with a guide. And they wear face masks just to make sure. Sometimes you'll see some wonderful designs on those face masks. Not to say that's not everyone. Nice and quiet for the start, please. And as you can see there, Stavitsky just waiting for the silence of the crowd before he gets himself into position. Same thing happening as the tether is being applied between Marichelle Player Faust and Robert Diaz Ibanez. So we're just about ready to go. Confirmation that the first will go through automatically. And they get away at the so first time of asking. Player Faust got away the quickest of the two of them, and she's slightly in the lead at the moment. And Joanna Majur has now picked up on the outside with Mikhail Stavitsky. It looks like Majur is going to go across with Stavitsky. The guide has to go behind the athlete. That's exactly what happens there in both cases. So Joanna Majur, who doesn't claim any records there, but she does claim first place, and she'll go through in 13.94 and qualify for the final. They saw the athletes who just are let go by their guide as they go across the line, but they have to remain tethered as well there just at the end. We've seen a lot of disqualification so far. Majur goes across in first place, and player Faust will now have to wait to see if she can pick up one of the fastest loser positions. She got away the quickest, did the Spaniard? For sure they're picking up ground around the 50, 60 metre mark and just see the synchronicity there between athlete and guide. Guide lets the athlete go across the line and it's Majur who wins the opening heat. The women's 100 metres is here 11 here in Berlin. So 13.94, Joanna Majur picks up first place, and qualifies for the final. Player Faust, 14.23. Men's long jump T20, it is Ranki Oberoi. In round five, we're into the medalists. There's a big gap between third and fourth, so the top three decided, but in what order? Oberoi. Lifetime best 7 metres 13 in round 3. Needs an extra 3 centimetres on that to go up to Silva. He's got a good way out towards 7 metres. Didn't use a huge amount of the board. Gave 15 centimetres away. It was 6.85 in the last round. We might just have seen the best from him. Ali Davis in the circle. The a sensational throw. A sensational... Leap from Oberoi in the final round would change everything. See, he just barely clipped the board at all. Once again, very close to that 50 meter mark. That will be measured shy of the seven. He's really pushing for the silver medal, 696. And he got the board plumb on, it probably would have been around 713 again anyway. This man on 715, Prudnikov with his penultimate attempt. Looking to add about 15 centimeters onto the lifetime best he equaled earlier this morning. Oh, he didn't, he just went wrong, just went wrong. 
didn't go anywhere near the board whatsoever. Took off way too early. It will be measured. But that's going to be way down. I think he thought he was doing triple jump then. He's good at that We're as well. We're ready for track. two of the women's T11 100 meters. One excellent attempt and nothing else. So here's our leader. Championship record, 7.28 with his third jump. The man is looking for a third consecutive European Championship gold in the men's long jump T20. Zoran Telic of Croatia. Off he goes. There's nothing the matter with that. It's out over the seven metre mark. Distance behind the board, so no, no issues there. He won silver in the World Championships last year, but that was coming into it with a knee injury. Didn't think he did himself justice. He's doing himself justice here. Silver at the last two Paralympic Games, silver at those last three World Championships, but he's heading for three European golds in a row. 728, he equals his own championship record. Women's 100 metres T11, the second heat featuring two from Spain, Mungura Ortiz and Bill Quintana, divided by Finland's Ronja Oya. Only the winner to automatically qualify, plus the next two fastest. Quintana, the 200 metres champion, away very well on the near side, and Ronja Oya away, best of them all. This is a great performance for Ronja Oya to date, alongside her brother Jesper. They look like they'll get the win. It's Ronja Oya who takes it. Bill Quintana in second, and Mungira in third for Spain. They'll have to wait 13.35 unofficial. That's one of the fastest runs of her life. PB from this year is 13.26. And that was just marvellous. Ronya Oya, 13.36. Bronze in the 100 metres at the last Europeans. Bronze in a 200 in 2014. Won bronze in the long jump here and silver in Grisetto two years ago. Much medaled in her fledgling career. She's still only 26, Ronnie Oya. But as we say, her brother Jesper is a national class athlete back in Finland. Needs to be to keep up with her. Ronja Oya qualifies 13.36, so does Bill Quintana as the fastest loser, but Mungira is out. Well, here's Alan Davis. He's in first position. He's already broken his own championship record. That came with his first attempt. He then did it again with his third. What's he got here? Well, he might have done that again. That's almost at the 50 metre mark. Just clipped the tape after it, hit the ground. The man from Bridge End, Alan Davis. Gold is a way of life for him. He holds the world and European records. He holds the championship record and he's broken it again. 49-73. So, Goranovic in this women's shot put, F41. The first Montenegrin Paralympian. 
solid throw from her to have her up in the medals. But needs one beyond six meters in order to move up, and I think she's got it. Granovic up into the silver medal position. That's her best, 6.56. Left the best to last. Van der Goe is our champion. A European record in the opening round. That again, dropping around seven meters. And she is our European champion. Seven meters 19, gold for France. We're well, back to the long jump. Reggie Oberoi. In third position, lifetime best, 7.13. Needs more. He needs two centimeters more. Well, it's up around the seven meter mark. Nothing to matter with the takeoff, but that's not going to improve. He looks good, he looks rhythmic the way he jumps. Third best so far. So no problem at all, a little bit too far behind the board. Six ninety-one for Oberoi, so he'll finish with a bronze medal. Fourth in the 2014 championships for Oberoi. Fourth in Rio, fourth in London, third here. And this man is second. He'll have some work to do. He's got 13 meters or centimeters, I should say, to make up on Zoran Tavic. Takeoff's fine. No, it's not. Must have just clipped the plasticine. Looked from the naked eyes, it was okay. Tight indeed. So, Prudnikov with a fourth foul and six jumps. Let's have a look. Oh, that's tight. He pushed the limits, he had to. 7.15, Dmitry Prudnikov of Ukraine. Silver for him. Here's your gold medalist. A championship record. He holds the European record as well. Zoran Talic. Broke his own championship record here. He held Swansea four years ago. Improved that by 12 centimeters. One last lap of honor. Well, it's white. It will be measured. I don't think it's going to improve on what he's done so far. It'll be triple European goal. Well, that. Was tight. There is your winner. Three European goals in a row. No improvement. Championship record. Third and fifth jump. 728. He wins again. We do for the fans. We do for the fans. So silver at the last three world championships, but gold in the last three European championships. For that man there, he finally breaks the duck. So used to being fourth, he's picked up a bronze medal. The panda is happy, Max. <laughs> Disappointment for Talic last year at the World Championships. I mentioned that before, the knee injury.
why wouldn't the man on the right be happy? For so long, he's tasted disappointment by just missing out in Europeans, Paralympic Games, and World Championships. But now, he's playing the bronze in a new lifetime best. Frankie Overall with the bronze, Prudnikov with the silver, and a new championship record of 728 for Zoran Talic of Croatia. Rose van der Goer, France, in her first major championship, a European record, 7 metres 19, claims the women's shot put. Goranovic, Silva for Montenegro, Sirit, the bronze for Turkey. There's the silver medalist, Dmitry Prudnikov. There's your gold medalist, Zoran Talic. The one on the left, him, not the panda. Cracking crowd again in this main stand at the Friedrich Ludwig Jan Sport Park. It's a very, very open stadium, and there's not many who want to sit out in the open. A day for a lot of these to remember, you will hope. Yeah, great competitor today. He set three championship records as so we go back to the track men's 400 meters t11 the first heat of two three runners in this one so once again we'll take a little bit of time with this being the most visually impaired category, all runners with a guide. Takes a little bit of time just to get the tether right, get them in the right position. Sylvain Berber of France, who lives in Numea, will go from lane three. Gerard Descarega Pujdeval, the long jump champion from these European championships earlier in the competition with a championship record, will go in lane five, he was disqualified after winning his heat in the 100 metres. So disappointment there after victory in the long jump. And the third of the runners from Israel will be Solomovic. That's Sylvain Bova there. 55.08. For the 400 meters, a lifetime best, which was set this and year. The there is Descarega Pujdeval. So they can hear the start. Won his heat in the 100 meters, but he was disqualified. Glorious day, the crowd. You can see there behind 1,000 school children in here today. You saw them celebrating with Talix when he won the long jump T20 just a moment or two ago. And you'll see them and hear them in a moment cheering on these runners as they come down in the home straight. In lane three, representing France. Lanes three, five and seven will be occupied in, lane five is the in the T11 category for those who may be watching for the first time. The guides are compulsory, so there will be a lane between the athletes. Maximum of four that can run. If you win one, three, five, and, and seven, three seven in this one. There are two in the following heat. No medals on the track today, in the morning, at least. Eight in the field. But plenty to play for. Solomovic, he was T12, he's been reclassified to T11. The 34-year-old analyst who only took up running for fun six years ago. Well, it's fun running at something like this, isn't it? Crowd. 
more chance to go through to a final. He was sixth back in 2016. That man there at the European Championships in Grosseto. He'll be aiming for the final of this. The first goes through. He'll have some work to do, though. His lifetime best, 59.99. So just inside the one-minute mark. That was set this year. Descarega Pujadabel will start as the favourite. His lifetime best, 50.22. He'll be splitting the other two runners and going from lane five. Here's the current world champion at this event. Representing Spain. So much more to look forward to on the track as well after this. Jason Smith, the world's fastest Paralympian, will be going in the heats of the 100 metres, T13. Marcel Hoog already won 5,000 metres. He'll be going in the men's 800 metres, T54 heats. So we're almost ready to yeah. get underway. Bover in three. Stand up, please. Descarega, Pujdeval in five. And Solomovic in seven, but they've been asked to stand up. Teachers Just asking for a bit of quiet yeah, from the, the crowd. Shut up. A bit raucous. That's what happens when you have school children in. They're enjoying themselves. So, das wäre jetzt ganz schön. Wir haben hier blinde Läufer, liebe Kinder. Jetzt heute kommt gleich noch mal zu euch. Aber bitte jetzt mal ein paar Judges. Sie sind blind, haben einen gelben Läufer an der Seite. Schaut von euch aus nach rechts. I think they're doing a very good job. Green card there, no problem whatsoever. Hier in diesem Stadion fallen. Yeah, you're, you're hearing a lot of Rua Bitter, which is... I don't need to tell you, it was quite blind. I used to hear that in German class a lot when I was growing up. Mostly when you were standing outside. On your mark. Okay, take two. The school children have been given the green card. They've been cautioned. Some of them new to para athletics. You can't blame them for enjoying themselves and not understanding that you need silence in the T11 category, complete visual impairment. Just while we're waiting, the championship record is 52.84. Set 13 years ago. They're away this time, but the, well, the gun has gone again. So they've been called back. I'm just wondering whether that was the outside lane there of uh, Solomovic. I think it is. Well, remember, it's uh, fully enforced starting rules. We did see once yesterday, though, in the women's 200 metres, the green car was given there. It was a official error. So the green car was given, but I'm not too sure here. It looked like Solomovic might have actually just got out a little bit early. Let's just have a look at the replay, shall we? Just, yeah, there's just a twitch. It didn't actually move from the blocks as such, so it was just a, a slight twitch. So they've been given the yellow. So the naked eye, when the gun went, it looked as if they actually had gone early, but there's just a, a slight movement of the body, but there was no actual movement wow. out of the blocks. On your mark. So we'll go again. Take three. We'll just remind ourselves of the runners, shall we, while they're getting ready. Sylvain Bova of France with uh, Germain 
Awagany goes in lane three, his guide. Gerard Descarega Pujdeval, the current world champion. There he is there. We'll go from lane five with Guillermo Rojo Gil, his guide. And then Slomovic of Israel will go with Gilles Shileg. Third. Out in lane seven. And this time we're away. Third time is a charm. And Descarega Pujdeval has moved up quickly already on the outside of Slomovic of Israel. He's gone past him with ease. So around 250 metres remaining in this men's 400 metres T11. The first automatic goes through qualifying. After that, it will be the next two fastest out of the two heats. It's Descarega Pujdeval with 200 metres left who's moved around there in fine fashion indeed. On the inside of Sylvain Boba with his guy Germain Awagany, who's in second place. But Descarega Pujdeval, he's just holding his form, but he's been challenged on the inside by the Frenchman. Descarega Pujdeval with around 80 metres remaining is going to ease through at this stage. His guy's just giving him the heads up, but he's going to be able to do it quite easily indeed. He's just jogging down towards the finishing line. And the most important thing is to make sure he goes across ahead of the guy. He does that. Descarega Pujdeval, 54-08 in second place. Silvan Boba and in third place, just crossing the line now, it's Haim Hagailiev Salomovic of Israel. There is your winner, though. Descarega Pujdeval of Spain. Gold already here at these championships in the long jump. A championship record there. He'll be going now. Assuming this race is given the official listing in the final of the men's 400 metres T11 complete visual impairment category. And Boba there will be hoping that he goes through as one of the fastest losers. Now remember, Descarega Pujdeval was disqualified in the 100 metres heats yesterday. 54.09 is the official time he's given here. So there's Boba getting out of the blocks, but it was Descarega Pujdeval in the middle there in the colours of Spain in the red and gold. As soon as they went around the opening 100 metres, he was up on the outside of Salomovic. He eased through. His guide there, Rojo Gil, just letting him know he was doing it easy. He wins by about 15 metres from Boba of France. Salomovic in third place. Descarega Pujdeval looking for his second medal of these championships. After winning the long jump gold in the championship record, he takes victory in the opening heat of the men's 400 metres T11. It's unfortunate it took a while to get that heat up and running for various reasons. Well, the first there was because of the uh, school children in the crowd who were making a bit of noise. So, Alan Davis, final attempt then in the men's discus. He is the European champion again for the fifth time but for the first time in this new F63 category. He's broken the championship record three times today. Make that four. He's done what he wanted to do to get it beyond 50 metres. He's put everything into today. Well beyond 50 metres. He's added four metres onto his championship record from Swansea four years ago. Teeth major title. 50 metres, 55, his fourth new championship record of the day. And frankly, you can't say any better than that. Hubshide the silver for Luxembourg, Tuesday the bronze for France. And Alan Davis has clobbered the rest of the field again. The Welsh flag is out, importantly. The man from Bridge End is more hardware to bring home with him. Alan Davis, the European champion again, 50 metres, 55. Tom Hapshide, the silver for Luxembourg, 46-22. And Banatuzzi, lifetime best, the bronze for France. Alan Davis, I didn't compete in the 2012 Europeans when they were revived at Stadskanal in the Netherlands. There are actually two locations about three or four kilometres away from each other, Stans Canal and Assen, which have staged major championships in para-athletics. So here's the results of the opening heat. 
men's 400 metres T11, qualifying through in first place. Yeah, Desko Lega Pustaval, 54.09. Yeah, Bova's been disqualified there. I know it says DNS, but disqualified. Well, Bova certainly started. He certainly finished. Now, here's a late arrival. Gautier Makunda in the uh, men's 400 meters T11 second heat. One of two going in this. So, Marcelin Waliko in the men's javelin F57, the strongest of the seated throwing events, the defending. European champion from New Caledonia, coached by Olivier Denio. A solid throw of beyond 35 meters. And Wallico in firm control of this. The European record holder from the World Championships last year when he came sixth because they tend to put a whole lot of categories together. He is our leader here, 37 meters 05. And he is our winner. Championship record as well, beating the mark from four years ago of Alexei Ashaptov. Julius Hutka, the silver for Slovakia, and Musa double to the bronze for Turkey. Heat two of the men's 400 meters, T11, complete visual impairment. Two going in this, just the winner guaranteed. So lane three for France, Gautier Makunda, silver in the four by one in the last Europeans, fourth in the 200, fifth in the 100. The 100 meters world champion from 2006, his guide is Emrik Shetty. And in lane five for Turkey, Mehmet Tunç, disqualified in the 100 meters here, as quite a few were silver in the 200 meters in the last European to Grisetto, fourth in the long jump, based in Bursa. Guide is Mehmet Tetik. In lane five is Mehmet Tunç. So Makunda in three, Tunç in five. I'm sure we'll have no problems in getting this heat away. Makunda's been winning major championship medals since Athens. 2004 the Paralympic Games there silver in the 100 meters he was bronze in this 400 meters at London 2012 Third. so away they go the first time of asking Makunda in three partnered by Chatty Tunk in five partnered by Mehmet Tetik solid start from both men They'll have uh, done the mathematics. I'm not sure they'll have been informed about the disqualification in the first heat, but they are both going through. It'll just simply be a better lane draw, a central lane draw for whoever wins this second heat, this effective semi-final. And it's Bakunda who's coming into his zone now, going clear as they straighten up for the final 75 metres. Bakunda and Emre Chatti alongside well clear of the pair of Mehmets behind them for Turkey. And Gautier Makunda is going to win the heat. And he can cancel her. 53.95 the winning time for Gautier Makunda. And Mehmet Tung is in second. Both into the final. And Gautier Makunda. It was a breeze in the end. Well, maybe not in temperatures of over 30 Celsius, but figuratively speaking, Makunda into the final. As we go to our next field event.
Man shot put F37 coordination impairment category. That man there from Poland. Well Thomas Blachkovic. They've got three. Blachkovic, a prime candidate. Uh, Blachkovic out there. We're ready in the field to start another javelin final. It's for the men's F. Well, short of that 14 meter mark you saw on the bottom left of your screen. One Paralympic gold back in Athens in 2004. In the shot put and the discus. Twice a world champion. He was fifth two years ago. Thomas Blaszkowicz is in second position after his first throw, 11 at 83. The new season best. Karatanidis. Next to go for Greece, his first attempt. At four, representing Bulgaria. The man who was also a, uh, a para swimmer. He won gold at the 50 metre butterfly at the 2013 World Transplant Games in Durban. And that one was out on the 14 metre mark. He's just broken the tape with the shot there. And throwing at seven, the reigning world champion and the championship record holder for Serbia. Well, 14.02, it puts him into first position for the man. He's got a best this year of 15.16. Each of the athletes will have six throws in turn. It's the final of the men's F55 challenge. Again, crowds of maybe two and a half, three thousand here this morning at the Frederick Ludwig Jan Sport Park. So Makunda and Tuk, it was a uh, two-man heat. And Makunda in the end with uh, lots to spare. We're about to get underway at the opening heights in the men's They're both OK, by the way. They're both through to the final. And Tunk in the end was about a second and a half down. News from the first heat, though. Bova has gone down as a DNS. Solomovic of Israel has been disqualified. But heat two, winner all right. Second place, all right. Makunda and Tunk are on the track. Work. We're ready for the first round heats of the men's T13 100 meters. The umbrellas are out, not because of the rain, because of the sun. Smart idea. Smart Classes idea indeed. T13 are if only they knew they were on TV. TV. These ones here do, because they're running the men's 100 metres T13. Brilliant crowd in again in this morning session, day four of the World Para Athletics European Championships in Berlin. So we head back to the shot put. Number four in Europe. And Mikhail Balag of. The Czech Republic, he's had his first round throw of 10 metres 33, but he's bottom of the seven so far in this. Karatanidis, we've seen his leading throw of 14.02. Uh, Palag has already competed this week, he's not certain to get any higher up the rankings with that. Needs an extra two metres plus to get into the medals. He's improved by 27 centimetres, but stays seven. So the men's 100 metres T13 visual impairment category, the first heat in two in the second heat. That will be the world's fastest Paralympian, Jason Smith of Ireland, who will be competing. He won gold already over 200 metres, did Jason Smith. The silver and bronze medalists from that 200 metres are running in this race. Matthias Mikalski, silver from Poland, and Philip Handler of Switzerland picked up the bronze medal.
Gronkowski, you can see there in the middle in the red and white. On the far side, lane three, it's Handler, who was bronze in this in the European Championships. There's Oberoi, who picked up bronze in the long jump, still celebrating. David Gerber on the outside of lane seven. Sven Vega Dragson, who didn't start in the 200 metres after being in the original lineup, made his senior debut back at 2014 in Swansea. Mikowski will go from five. Sancho Villanueva, the 19 year old Spaniard, will go from four. And Philip Handler in lane three, who was born in New York, represents Switzerland. And they get away as Mikowski, who gets away the quickest of all. But on the outside of him, it's Jackson Spurd, who's also up there. But it's going to be Mikowski who's going to go through. The first three qualify. Mikowski, Jackson Spurd on the far side there. It looks like it's Philip Handler who's got through as well. Just work out who came second and third there. It was pretty tight. But we do know the winner was Matus Mikowski. Silver in the 200 metres. 10.89 there for him. So that is a new championship record for Mikowski. No well, he got away quick there in the middle. Easy to pick. Tall, wearing red and white of Poland. And he won by some distance indeed. Mikowski there. Dragson Spoon has also got across there. And Philip Handler has picked up the third of those qualifying positions. Well, Jason Spitz going in the second. He held the championship record of 10.96. He set that back in 2005. So a 13-year-old record has gone to Matus Mikalski. Of Poland. In the field, it's time for the F Game on. What will Jason Smith be able to respond with? It doesn't matter too much in the heats, it'll matter in the final. So Mikowski, 10.89. Jackson's third in second, 11.35. And Philip Handler, the automatic qualifier in third place, 11.35 for him as well. Dead heat. Blakovic of Poland, 11.83, season's best in the opening round, currently in fifth position. Skubiak, the best of the Poles, in bronze with 12.38. Blakovic, again, that's probably not a major improvement on what he's already done. Kardinidis leading on 14.02, Shabnak second, 13.20, Skubiak third, 12.38. If he's edged closer to the medals, it's only by a, a tiny handful of centimetres, and no, not even that. 11.74, and he stays in fifth. So our leader, Apostolos Kalatanidis of Greece. Leading by 82 centimeters of Nikola Zabniak. Well, he almost took out the official as opposed to the rest of the field. So Cardenas will get a red flag for that. First major championship, but uh, we've already seen success from this week. Former para swimmer. I think he's built for this and he's leading. So Dundas of Lithuania. That's out near the European record mark. He's currently in fourth position, 1186 with his first. Well, I can tell you that's slightly further. There's a story, isn't it? First to second. What's the difference? Oh, it's a lot. 13.38. Lithuanian up into the silver medal position. So now the second heat of the men's 100 metres, T13. And Jason Smith goes in this, having picked up his 17th championship gold out of 17. 
earlier in this competition of the 200 meters. He's up against the man who finished in the bronze medal position of that 200 meters final, Octavian Tuchelic. Miacek, who won the silver in the 200, is not in the 100 meters. Gold for Cano Blanco of Spain in the long jump. He's in lane eight. But Jason Smith in lane three. The man in the spotlight as usual. He did the 100 and 200 double in Swansea and in Espoo outside Helsinki in 2005. Didn't compete in the 2012 and the 2016 Europeans, so is only competing in non Paralympic Games years. The former Irish 100 meters champion, full stop, able bodied across the board. Five. Paralympic titles, seven world titles, five European, and this to start the road on the sixth. Zach Skinner alongside him, silver in the long jump, Cano Blanca there on the near side in lane eight had the gold. So it's Smith in three, Skinner in four, Tukalic in five, Nick Bourne in six, Kutchuk in seven, Cano Blanco in lane eight. First three to automatically qualify. Away first time, solid start by Jason Smith and Kutchuk of Turkey is away very well also. Nick Pons moving up for Poland, but it's Jason Smith all the way and easing up over the line. 10.86 is a new championship record. Great running by Jason Smith and it beats Mikalski by two hundredths of a second. 10.87 has been ratified as his whole championship record from 13 years ago was 10.96. Nothing more to say. He's come out and he was easing up. He holds the world and European record 10.46 and an IAAF competition has gone out to 10.24. Came so close to qualifying for the IAAF World Championships and the Olympic Games. He's twice been in the European Athletics Championships, able-bodied, and the rest just left in his way. Kutchuk had started very well, but finished down in fifth, and Smith was not going to exert himself with a final to follow this evening. Nick Pon in second, and Zach Skinner in third. He's got a bit of pace about him. Chukuluk was in fourth spot for Romania, for Jason Smith with a really clear margin of victory. And a whole load of PBs behind him as well. Augers well for the final tonight. The championship record for Jason Smith through in 1087. Lifetime best for Nick Pond in second, Tukulic in fourth, Kuchik in fifth, and they're all through. So back to the shot put. F37 men's final coordination impairment. Vlachkovic, we saw him a moment or two ago. Former Paralympic champion. Fifth two years ago. Been around for a while, has the man who is 45 years of age. Twice a world champion. 11.92, he's up into third position. Improving his season best. This man here, Chautanidis. 14.02 with his opener. His second almost took out a judge when he missed wide. He's still in first place. And some distance ahead, Chautanidis. And that's a better effort. That's much better. And it was straight. The athletes next in the circle. Find himself up much better that time. Take part in the shop. 13.79, doesn't improve on his first effort, but he still remains quite some distance in front. 64 centimetres to be exact. 
on his knee. So Dundas going now for Lithuania, lying in second position. A decent 13 38 in the previous round. That's beyond 12 meters again, but won't be an improvement. Cartanidis, our leader with 14.02. And his two good throws so far, the three, either would be good enough to lead. Dunzis has had to climb up a bit in this competition, but is in the silver medal position for Lithuania. Thomas Skubak, last to throw in this round, 12.38. He is almost a metre behind bronze. consistent with his throw so far 12.38, 12 12.31 12 just a little bit more strength and distance required to upset the medals Poland currently 4th, 5th and 6th all outside the medals strong throwing nation Twelve twenty-six. Not much between all those marks. Uh, his international colleague Mikalski. Sorry for the sloppy phrasing a few minutes ago. He wasn't in Jason Smith's heat, but he obviously is in the competition, having won silver in the two hundred meters. Chances for Poland in that and in this. So Kartaninas leads at halfway, 14 meters 02. Dundas of Lithuania, three quarters of a meter behind. Jabnak in the bronze medal position, and then all those poles. The first seat of the T12 men's 200 meters. So from 100 meters to 200 meters in the T12 category. Two runners in this one Zachary Shaw of Great Britain and Abel Shirob of Romania. First automatically qualifies. Shirop, one of seven children, so a busy house for that man on the left growing up. Bronze in the 800 metres at the last European Championships in Grosseto two years ago. And the 22 year old from Grimsby, Zachary Shaw. Or Zach to his friends. Fifth over 200 metres two years ago. He's already been in major championship action this year. He was at the Commonwealth Games in the Gold Coast. Nice weather there. Nice weather here. So two to go. One to automatically qualify. And the way they get, no problems there whatsoever. They both get away to a very good start. If anything, it looks like it's the man on the outside, Abel Shirop, who got away to a quicker one. But it's Zachary Shaw who's now picking him up as they come round the bend. But it's Shirop who leads at the moment. Zachary Shaw. Shirop is around three, four, five metres in front. It looks like he's going to hold off Zachary Shaw of Great Britain. It's going to be Shirop of Romania who goes across in a time of 23.66 seconds. He takes the automatic qualification place. One heat yet to come. And Zachary Shaw will be hoping he can go through as a fastest qualifier. Season best, 23.67 for the man from Romania. He has a lifetime best of 23 dead on the button. Didn't challenge that quite. But he looked good going around the bend. It looked like Shaw had made up some distance. But Shirup held his own, held his nerve, held his discipline and went out by about five metres to pick up the victory in the opening heat of the men's 200 metres. T12 for medium visual impairment. Just a glance across. Nothing too much to worry about. And he'll be in the final season best confirmation 23 67. So the breeze has picked up just a little bit, not too bad though. 
It's quite a welcome thing, actually, to be honest with you. There's very few who are out in the sun. It's around 30 Celsius at the moment. It's going to hit 33 later on. There's a block of maybe three or four hundred over on the far side who are in the shade. That is the far side. As we return to the shot put F37. And this is Thomas Brakovic. 11.92 is best so far, due to hit 33 later on today, around 4 or 5 p.m. Shy of 12 meters. Four world titles to his name. Two in the shot, two in the discus, most recent in 2011. In and he was the shot and discus dual champion in Athens 2004. 11.53, no improvement, he stays fifth. Skubak. Of Poland. Twelve thirty-eight with his first is his best to date. This here attempt number four of six. He won't be moving up into the medals with that one. Quarters a foul. Sipakova on Belarus is leading in the women's chair. Shubak is currently 82 centimetres drift of the bronze medal position. Talking of bronze, here's the man who's in that position, Javniak of Ukraine. It's out towards the European record, but you can see they're in the distance from it. Quite some distance to go. So his season best was 13.20. He went close to that. And his third, he was one centimetre short. This year, number four. For Javniak. Well, he's improved. He stays third. But 13.25, he's improved that season best by five centimetres. From third to second. Dunjus of Lithuania. Whoa! Attempt number four. Well, you heard him. He was bronze at the World Championships last year in London. He was bronze in Grosseto the year before in 2016. He's silver at the moment. That's not going to improve on where he is, though. He's going to stay in the silver medal position. 12.64, 13.38 his best with his second throw. And it's Karatanidis, the Greek. His first was a monster, 14.02. Needs another one metre and 14 centimetres if he's to break that championship record of Mindaugas Villiers of Lithuania. It was set four years ago in Swansea. What's well, up there? going to be pushing 14.02 which was his best so far which was his first he fouled in 13.79 and Karatanidis yeah. 14.08 he's improved by six centimeters he stays in first but he's extended it Heat two of the men's 200 metres, T12, three going in this, only the winner guaranteed a spot in the final and the 100 metres European champion from earlier this week, Athanasios Kalevas, goes in heat seven. It's his first European championships for the 18-year-old and bronze in that 100 metres going to Luis Kincalves, who's in lane three here. Silver in the 400 metres, bronze in the 200 in the World Championships in London a year ago. Former 400 metres world champion from Doha three years ago. 
and Christchurch in 2011. And Osgood Aquilet in the middle, bronze in the 400 metres in London a year ago at the Worlds. So Goncalves of Portugal in three, Aquilet of Turkey in five, Galevis of Greece in seven, T12. Guides are optional. All three have passed that option up. Good Calvis, Agbalat, Galavis, the three in this. So away first time and a very good start by Galavis, an even better start by Goncalves in three. Agbalat right behind in five, but Goncalves of Portugal looking very solid and now Galavis as they straighten up. The new European 100 metres champion being run down by the bronze medalist in that final. Galavis just maybe pipped on the line by Goncalves of Portugal with Aquilet in the middle. Very tight margins, 22.65 it was in the end, the winning time. Goncalves has indeed been given it. But it's a second faster than what we saw in the first heat. They'll both go through, there's no doubt about that. But Galavis, who led for a lot of that, run down by Luis Goncalves very, very effectively. A hundredth of a second between them in the end. So the new 100 metres champion beaten by the man that he knocked down into third position earlier this week. Goncalves started very well, the twice world champion over double this distance. And how well he ran Galavis down. A lot more experienced in terms of age, in terms of championships. He's been going for more than a dozen years in major championships, Luis Goncalves, and he just narrowly pipped Galavis there. He was in the Worlds last year, went out in the heats about the 100 and the 200, but he's into the final in second place as a fastest loser here. But Goncalves wanting to show more permanently who's boss. Having finished behind Goncalves in the 100. That was a good sprint at the end between the two men. And they're all through. Goncalves winning 22 65, Galavis second 22 66. And Akpul at third. Thomas Schubert in the men's shop put F37. Currently in fourth seven. position. And the athlete who's just thrown, Thomas Skubiak, Skubak, is in fourth. He was fourth at the last European Championships, fourth in the World Championships last year. He's in fourth position here. Some people have all the luck, some don't, but he's had some here. 12.45, he's still in fourth though, but he improved. Well, the good thing for him is he's from one of the great athletic centres in Europe, in Bidgosh. They regularly host major championships, the IAAF and European Athletic Circuits. Zhabnaki, Ukraine now. The 2013 World Champion, 2014 European Champion in the discus. That's another solid one around. 14 metres, well, you know what? Bronze medal position going into that throw. Dundas was only... 13 centimetres ahead, Zabnak might, might just have edged ahead. A very solid throw by the Ukrainian. He goes into the silver medal position. 13 metres, 54. He's 16 centimetres ahead of Dunzis. Can the Lithuanian respond? Third and third, yeah, is Dundas' best so far. That was a new lifetime best, and that one there is not going to improve. So he's going to have one more throw. The Lithuanian to try and get himself back further up than a bronze medal. Because that one there was a foul. So Dundas, Zabniak, and this man, Karatanidis, he's led the whole way. His first attempt was 14.02, his fourth attempt was 14.08. This one here, his fifth. But it's a foul. So that's two fouls. 
He's second. Almost cleaned up the guide. He's just pointing there to maybe apologise for that one too. The official's in danger, but seeing where it's coming from. Well, that is one of the perils of judging this competition. I think they know what they've signed up for. Keep your eyes open at all times. So the man down in seventh position with his final effort, Palag. Best so far was in his fifth rope. He was seventh in 2016. He's going to finish seventh again in 2018. Ten seventy nine. His competition is run. Jakub Miroslav, eighteen year old. His first major championships. He's also been a para table tennis player. The sport I love. Here he's in shot put though. He's in sixth position. Eleven oh one. When his third throw. Ten fifteen with his last. He finishes in sixth. We're getting up to the business end now. Tomas Blatskovic, a season best, 11.92 with his third. There are season best and lifetime best ahead of him. He was walking down the street one day and a para-athletics coach spotted him and said, we could use you. And the rest is history. Those double goals in Athens in 2004 and then in the 2006 World Championships in Athens in both the shot and the discus he's had a magnificent career and he's not done yet now, if there's one country that does throwing well Poland is it look at those consistent marks in fifth place barely half a meter between them all can Poland get into the medals here Skubiak is next but he needs another meter effectively on top of what is the season's best in order to break into the top three. It's beyond 12 meters, well, 12.45 is his best, 13.38 is the bronze medal. Well, at the moment, Poland have the three positions outside the medals and that will not change because Skubak has finished with his best 12 meters 70 and he finishes in fourth interesting times in the men's shot put f37 we'll show you the top three in a moment or two but here is the men's 800 meters t54 the first heat richard kiyosara as he did yesterday didn't start in the 200 meters, he won't be starting in the 800 meters either. So Great Britain without one of their competitors in this. They do have Dylan Le Broy. Kenny Van Beagle already picked up silver in the 200 meters. So the confirmation that Richard Kiyosara is out because of a blood pressure issue. So no Richard Kiyosato, unfortunately. So Kenny Van Beagle, silver in the 200, will go from lane three. Julian Casoli, bronze in the 5,000 metres, will go from lane five. Dylan Lebroy, who picked up bronze in that 200 metres late in the evening yesterday. That's because of a bit of disqualification ahead of him due to Nathan Maguire being disqualified. The 20-year-old from Guildford competed at the Commonwealth Games this year in his major championship debut. There he is. First three guaranteed a place in the final. David Scherer, who was fourth and well beaten in the 5,000 metres, will go out in lane seven. The first three will automatically qualify in this heat. 
the great Marcel Hoog, the championship record holder, will be going in the second. He won the 5,000 metres, of course, earlier in the competition. But this here is packed full of class as well. So Van Vigel in three, Casoli in five, Lebroy in six, and Scherer in seven. Four to start. Richie Chiasato is a non-starter due to a blood pressure issue. Chiasato also the European record holder from Notville set earlier in June. So disappointment for him already out of Two events at these European Championships in Berlin. Athletes just being held for a moment or two by the judges. Not a day you want to be held out there, I can tell you right now. It's warm enough where we are, and we're in the shade. There on the track with the full almost midday sun burning down on them with helmets on. Dylan Lebroy of Great Britain, he'll be extremely happy to be a bronze medalist. The man who moved from Sri Lanka to Great Britain at the age of four years of age. You see Van Vigel there in the bottom of his screen just uh, having a little look, wondering what's going on. Well, the athlete's been told to just uh, move on for the time being. There seems an issue. Yeah, Richard Kiyosaro, the only Englishman not out in the midday sun mad dogs and all that well, David Shearer looks like he's just enjoying himself there we will return to it but this is the women's discus F12 medium visual impairment Orisia Ilchina of Ukraine A very solid effort. That is the 40-meter line. She goes into it with a lifetime best of 38.87. 40 meters, 31 lifetime best. She's into the lead. a practice lap in just to be sure and well we talk about experience David Shearer the 22 year old has decided to stay in his blocks he's had a mixed week he's finished fifth in one final and eighth in another and he's decided to stay sitting there while the athletes have been out before Van Weigel and Cassidy keep themselves warmed up but won't burn up well, I think I'd be following that man on the left of your screen there in the orange. He's just gone out of shock. Kenny Van Vigel. Four World Championship goals. Two European Championship goals. He's been around since he made his senior debut back 20 years ago. He made his debut when David Shearer was two years of age. That lets you know how experienced he is. Yeah, just to read you what Richard Kiyosara said this morning on Twitter, unfortunately the doctor has withdrawn me from the Europeans on medical grounds. I was warming up last night for the race when I got massive pressure in my head from my spina bifida and the doctor said my blood pressure was too high to race, but I will still be here to support the team. Hashtag recovery. Well, that is disappointing, Al. Best go out to Richard Kiyosara. So instead of five, we've got four. Lane three, Kenny Van Vigel. Silver already in the 200 metres. 
the man with bronze in the 5,000 metres, Julian Cassidy, will go from five. Bronze in the 200 metres, belatedly, Dylan LeBroy will go from six. And David Scherer, at 22 years of age, will go from Germany, the host country, in lane seven. There he is. Decided not to go on an extra lap then when the athletes were asked to move on momentarily. Eight hundred meters, two laps. On your mark. So we are now ready for bit belatedly to get this race underway. The first heat, first three of four will go through. And then it's down to the clock and away they go. And it is Julian Castley who gets away quickest of all. And he's already up. He's gone past Dylan LeBroy. He's gone past David Scherer. And he's got into the lead as Kenny Van Beagle also makes his way around from lane three. Just confirming, no, Richard Chiasato. He pulled out yesterday of the 200 metres. Didn't start in that. He's pulled out of this day as well. His blood pressure is not good enough to be racing. It's been confirmed by him on social media. So it is Kenny Van Beagle who's leading them out. And in second place, it is Julian Castley with Dylan LeBroy of Great Britain in third. And David Scherer of Germany, who's just tailing off there around five or six metres from the front three at the back. First three will go through automatically and qualify for the final. It's Kenny Van Beagle, years of experience, years of medals, four World Championship golds, two European Championship golds, already a silver here in this as they take the bell with under 400 metres to go in the 800 metres T54 heap. Wheelchair category. Kenny Van Beagle out in front. Julian Cassidy just tucked in behind. You'll expect Cassidy down the back straight or possibly around the 200 metre mark to go. He's actually looked at going just then. He's decided to wait now. Dylan LeBroy is playing a clever game here. He realises there's only three that go through and he knows he's a good five or six metres ahead of the man at the back in David Scherer who was well beaten in the 5,000 metres. He looks like he's going to be well beaten in this as well. So the pace comes on. 150 to go. Cassidy has got around the outside. Van Beagle now in second position. Dylan LeBroy the 20 year old from Guildford, his first major championship debut at the Commonwealth Games earlier in the year. He is in third position. Cassidy is just marginally ahead. And it's Julian Cassidy who's going to get first place. Kenny Van Beagle in second. 146 63 the time there. And in third place, it's Dylan LeBroy of Great Britain who will qualify automatically. David Scherer in fourth place. So Cassidy played it well there. He just hung on the wheel of Van Vegel around the 200 metre mark. Just put the foot down. There was no real pressure on in that race, to be fair. Scherer, he decided not to go on an extra warm-up lap. Looked to conserve energy. But it was fairly obvious after about the 150, 200 metre mark, it was going to be a race in three. <laughs> That's where Cassidy goes around the 200 meter remaining mark. All three come through through. Cassidy just pipping Van Vega across the line. He comes in second. And Dylan LeBroy of Great Britain in the second of the heats. Marcel Hoog already a winner here over 5,000 meters. He's also the European record holder, championship record holder. Here we go. No real pace required in that one. Richard Kiyosara didn't start, so only four went. And that's how it finished. Cassidy, Van Beagle, and LeBroy qualify. And my dear, for you it was yesterday a big fight. So no medals on the track on Thursday morning here, day four. Eight medals in the field. 27 medals over both track and field in the evening session. On a blazing hot day here in Berlin. That gives you a fair example of how warm it looks. Humid, warm, but hey, 
I'm not complaining. Big crowd in. Over a thousand school children in here. School holidays across Europe. Well, the majority, some are actually back. But most are still off and enjoying the weather. Just to let you know, we're in the early uh, exchanges of the men's high jump as well, so we'll have some news on that for you shortly. That's uh, another fabulous day in Berlin. So now let's cross over to Rose Willap, who's already medalled this week for France in the javelin, won bronze in that for the second consecutive Europeans. This is the women's discus. F12, medium visual impairment. In the final round, Will Eppens in the bronze medal position here as well. 30 meters 41, her best to date. Needs an added eight meters on that. Not much of a spin. The static feet on the ground it obviously takes uh, an immense amount of concentration with visual impairment to if you are going to spin around to work out where to release so Walepa well it's going to be a best major championship it's the first time she's picked up two medals it is bronze for her Busra Noor Tarikli has finished in fourth position here as she did in the world championships last year in London so Walepa wins the bronze for France Tamara Sivakova of Belarus, the seven-time world, four-time Paralympic champion. And the first of those medals in the discus, Barcelona 1992, the first ever televised Paralympic Games. They weren't even live. Straight into the rigging. Silver for Sivakova. She needed an extra metre and a half on top of what surprisingly, actually, today was her lifetime best of 38.63. Silver for her, so it's Ukrainian gold for Orisia Ilchina. 38.63, that lifetime best. It's the only mark of hers that went further than ever before. And Ilchina, the European champion, to go on top of her world gold. In her last Europeans, she finished fifth in the discus in Swansea four years ago. Already the champion, the final throw for the Ukraine. So the world champion is now the European champion too. And that goes out beyond 40 meters. That was quite something. That might just be the best show of the day, and what a time to release it. We saw a couple of the field events across town in the Olympic Stadium a fortnight ago where the final throw decided it. The medalist changed round. Well, Gina, who's been leading this for a bit since round three, 40 metres, 38. That's a new lifetime best. And that is four centimetres behind Chang's world record. The second heat of the men's 800 metres, T54, featuring the great Leo Penetati, the great Marcel Hoog, and the really good Alassane Balde, Nathan Maguire, and Ludwig Malta. The latter in his first major championship, seventh in the 200 metres. Penetati with goals in the 200 and the 400 so far. Marcel Hoog has won the 5,000 metres. The silver bullet. Three goals in his last Europeans in Swansea four years ago. He is an 800 metres champion in this. Alessandro Balde silver in the 5,000 behind Hoog. Here, bronze in the 15 and the 5 at the last Europeans in Grosseto. Leo Penetati. The five-time European champion. Three world titles, five Paralympics. Nathan Moore of Great Britain, bronze in the 200 here, disqualified in the four. 
Ludwig Malta in lane seven. The 18 year old from Salzburg who's the world junior 800 meters champion and 1500 as well. And Marcel Hoog, the Paralympic champion over 800 meters and the marathon, had to wait a long time for his first Paralympic crown. The 10 time world champion. So away the first time of asking, it's Hugen three, Balde four, Tati five, Maguire six, and Malta is in lane seven for Austria. Hug pushing up to the front of the inside straight away. Balde likewise. Well, 800 meters is just slightly beyond the range of expertise of Leo Penetati. I can't remember him being in an 800 meters final for a long, long time. I can't actually remember him entering at 800 meters. Hug out in front with Balde and Leo Pegatati. Maguire and Malta hanging behind. Maguire in third, Tati in four. Hug leading as they come towards the bell. So recognizable the stance, the singlet, the helmet. Hook takes the bell, 55-84, Balde in second, and what a move up by Ludwig Malta, the Austrian, up behind Hug. It was a, a big gap in lane one, he decided to take it. Balde's now moved up in his second position. Maguire in third, alongside Malta with Marcel Hug leading. 250 to go, so the top three will qualify for the final, and the next two fastest. Balde on the outside, Hug still leading on the inside, and Malta's now being dropped as he falls to fifth position. Nathan McGuire, bronze in the 200 meters, behind Leo Penetati, up in a third. Tati in fourth, might actually reach the final of this. Balde wants to give it a push, maybe a psychological advantage to get beyond Hook. Hook leading, Balde second, McGuire third, and they're the three who go through. Leo Penetati is in fourth, and Malta in fifth. And as heats go, that was a good race. 147 47 for Marcel Hook is almost exactly 10 seconds outside his championship record. Balde in second, Maguire third. Nine hundreds between Hook and Balde in the end. And Maguire in their slipstream. Well, Marcel Hug had waited so long for Paralympic gold. A whole phalanx of silvers and bronzes before that famous 800 meters triumph in Rio at the engine now. And then he went on to the Copacabana to win the marathon. Of course, the marathon was about 400 meters of Copacabana and 26 miles of everything else. I thought Balde might have actually had a go there, but there would have been nothing to gain except maybe something slightly psychological in his favor. Maguire third in the outside, Hug winning it. And Leo Penetate was easing up in the end. A breeze for them all. This is the first time that Leo Penetate has entered a championship of 800 meters. And he came through in fourth position. Still jumping the Pocahontas Mane of France. He finished sports personality of the year from two years ago. Hook has won a Laureus Award, received it from Luis Figo and Monica Sellers. And Celine Deal. So Hook, Balde, Maguire through automatically. Tati and Malta through as fast as losers. Tati's into a final. First time he has ever been at this distance in a championship. Marcel Hook, well, he's been here before, the reigning Paralympic champion, reigning world champion over 800 meters. Cassily was the fastest, 146.65. Tati and Malta through as the fastest losers. That is a well stacked final for Europeans. Uncle Christian is with Stefan Baldi. So back to his shot put, Zabniak. A 
37 class, coordination impairment. Japniak picked up silver in the discus in uh, Beijing back in 2008 at the Paralympic Games. He was fourth in this two years ago. Rio. He's second here, 1378. He's improved in second position. Japniak. Ukraine with silver. So Dundas of Lithuania, what can he respond with? Not enough is the answer to that one. He's heading for consecutive bronzes in the shop put at European Championships. Unless my eyes deceive me. And they don't. 12 98 he finishes with bronze for Lithuanian. Here's the gold medalist, Karatanidis, 14 08. Can he finish with something special? Oh, he can. Well, that there's the European record mark you see to the left just back from the world record and it's out near that the championship record Mindaugas Bilius of Lithuania was set four years ago in Swansea he must have gone close to it Oh, he has 15.28. He's beaten it by 13 centimetres. What a way to finish for the Greek. He takes the gold with a championship record. My kiss, everybody. Well, the song goes, he always saved the best to last. And he did just that. Postulus. Karatinidis of Greece, championship record 15-28, winner of the man's shot put, F37 category. Well, he won gold in the 50 metres butterfly back in 2013, five years ago at the World Transplant Games in Durban. He's now a para-athletics gold medalist to go with it. What next? Confirmation of a championship record for Karatanidis of Greece, 15-28. Javniak of Ukraine with a silver season best. Lifetime best of 13-38 for Tanatis Tundis of Lithuania, bronze. Well, it's been a terrific day. We're heading towards the end of the session, but there's still a nice crowd here. We've probably had the highest crowds this week that we've ever had for a European Power Athletics Championships. Grosseto quite strong, 1,000 or two per day. We've probably peaked at 3,000 per session in this. Men's high jump, T47, the defending champion, Alexandre Dikpawane, clear a 189, and he's got the gold. Daniel Perez Martinez, who's Spain already out, Silver for him, an 18-year-old debutant from Ireland. Jordan Lee has got the bronze, but Tapoko Awane wins it. 189 is a new championship record. He's added nine centimetres to the mark from Swansea four years ago. What a set of marks. Goal for Alexander Poco Awane, that championship record 189. Daniel Perez Martinez, the silver for Spain, and Jordan Lee wins the bronze for Ireland. There's a result to celebrate in Killarney. Morning session's done, we're back at 
17.30 local Berlin time, Central European time, 4.30 if you're in the UK, Ireland, Portugal, 15.30 GMT. Quite a day for France. It's Wallaco in the javelin. That the T57, the strongest of the seated categories, going out to a championship record, 37 metres 05. He was the defending champion, and he's taken it again. On the track, it's time for the second heat. Now third, the European number three ranked athlete represents. The long jump was something that infused the crowd the t20s here at the frederick ludwig Gansport park all day soren talic of croatia three times set championship records today the old championship record holder won't mind because it's him 728 he went out to twice to take the gold for croatia The able body, the women's record holder, is still Sylvia Babic, who I think holds three in the IAAF circuit. And Tyler shows the Croatian long jump record in para athletics. And the championship record here is the European record holder, too. He was only four centimeters off that, but he takes the gold for Croatia. Gold to Talic, Silver, Prudnikov, Bronze for Oberon. Well, here's Alan Davison. We don't need to explain what he's done in the past. World records, championship records, and more world records. Paralympic gold, European gold. So much gold, he could open his own shop. And now, Soran Talic. Er hat die Silbermedaille gewonnen 2016. Er ist Vize-Weltmeister mit 7,32. Und wenn da jetzt gleich die Knete... Still going strong, still winning titles on the way to another European double. It would be his third. He's done it for the last three World Championships and in the Paralympic Games in Rio. And he's got gold again here, 50 meters, 55. New championship record for Alan Davis. That's what happened in the long jump with Galich. He broke his own. Well, what a day it has been for France in the throwing competitions. This is Rose van der Goe, the championship debut F41. This is for the taller athletes of short stature. And with the very first throw of the competition, a European record. 7 meters 19 her first ever throw in a championship she's going to have a good career mariana goranovic of montenegro the silver and rabia chirit of turkey another championship david told in third here in terms of the uh, race running the or three categories so these are less impaired than those we saw last night and two Brits claiming heat wins in Kaylee Hago and Hannah Dines. Heat action all the way in the track, the women's 100 metres T11s. Joanna Mazur, there's five and a half million polls that watch the Facebook video of her put up by a Polish website. We're commentating on it, but just polls. She's a big star in her homeland now. She took her heat in 1394. The other heat going to Ronja Oya of Finland as the men's 400 heats when Sekela Deskarega puts the ball and Gautier Makunda here, 53-95. Another man who doesn't need an introduction in lane three, Jason Smith taking his seat, championship record as well. The Jason Smith, the championship record had been broken in the round just before this. By Matthias Mikalski, who went 1089. Jason Smith, he had the record before Mikalski, he broke it again. Then Karatanidis, who we saw a moment or two ago, he picked up the gold. He won gold at the World Transplant Games back in 2013 in Durban. He's now got gold in the shot put in the European Championships, 15 28. 
a new championship record for him. My guess, everybody. Yeah, Mikalski had uh, looked very good in his 100 meters, and that was a fine victory in the men's 200 meters T12. Very tight for Luis King Alves over Athanasius. Galavis, who'd led for most of it, hundredth of a second between the two in the end. They're both Woo! into the 200 meters final tonight. Another glorious morning. A reminder, it will stay in the 30s temperature-wise in Berlin. Heading into the afternoon, it's expected to peak around 33. But in terms of the athletics, it'll peak again at around five hours' time. So it's been a morning of eight medals in the field. There's going to be 27 in the field on the track in the evening. So for myself, Tulsan Tullet and Will Downing, will we see you then? Till then, bye for now.